வணக்கம் ஐம் சுரேஷ் a CA by qualification a wealth manager by profession and had the opportunity to see interact and work with people who have successfully created wealth over time when talking about wealth management one question that is often raised by colleagues friends and clients is how to get rich that's what we are going to talk about today fred young says there are three ways for getting rich one inherit money two marry money and three make money For most of us it is the third option and that is what we are going to talk here. But before that what getting and staying rich enables financial freedom to do what work one likes without a monetary worry baggage. It allows spending quality time with family and friends without killing oneself at office. An ability to make life choices. And importantly it avoids the worry of not having money. rich is a relative term and the definition varies from person to person so rather than defining rich let's look at ways to get there the top secret sauce to rich it's gonna be a rhetoric but mind you there are many who know or talk about it but there are only a handful who actually do something or anything about it taking right steps even though they may be baby steps is important all right so first Money makes money. Accumulating capital is important. Become better at your skill, build your passion and continue to earn money. Capital is required. Accumulate it irrespective of the quantum. Second, increase your savings. Avoid the extravagance. Resist temptation. Spend less than you earn. Save money better if you do it early. Probably there may be no sacrifice if you inherit or marry wealth. but there has to be some sacrifice in order to make money that gets inherited some sacrifice is required for the benefit of us and the next generation third lending and borrowing avoid too much of debt there are many people with number of properties fancy cars but they have the baggage of large debt as well similarly avoid lending as well no i am not mentioning about gifts or donation or some helps to the needy where you don't expect to get the money back Apart from them avoid lending. Fourth, protect yourself with insurance, both life insurance and medical insurance. Your hard-earned money should work for you and not for the medical institutions in future. Being adequately insured is important. Fifth, avoid shortcuts and mistakes. 5% returns every month. Sure shot 100% returns guaranteed. Click to win jackpot. You are a lucky winner. These are examples of shortcuts. Please avoid them. Anything that comes quick goes quick as well. Learn investment basic. Seek advice or inputs from qualified persons, not from any and everyone. Avoid investment mistakes. And sixth, the mother of all secrets for getting rich. Be aware of compounding. It is elementary, similar to the thirsty crow story, but we forget this basic max. While we can look in detail how compounding works or how to compute it along with real world examples in the next videos let us now look at the impact of what wonders compounding can do and appreciate its might it is not without merits that warren buffett termed it as the eighth wonder let's say you invest your hard earned money in four different types of assets each having different risk and return profile For an illustration purpose let's assume that each of those assets generate different profit percentage every year and the profits thus generated gets reinvested over a long period of time how does your investment grow or in other words how does that compound let's say for example there is an asset a which can generate only 6% annual returns if you allow your investment say your investment is 10 lakh if you allow your investment of 10 lakh to compound at a profit rate of 6% for 5 years the investment would have grown to 13.3 lakh at the end of 5 years at the end of 10 years it would have grown to 17.91 lakh and at the end of 15 years it would be at 23.97 lakhs let's say asset b can generate 8% profit returns every year and the profit gets reinvested at the end of the year then by end of 5 years your 10 lakhs would be 14.7 lakh and by end of 10 years it would be 21.58 lakh and by end of 15 years it would have grown to 31.72 lakh similarly if we see asset c 
which has the ability to generate 13% returns every year then rupees 10 lakh would have compounded to around 34 lakh by end of 10th year and to 62.5 lakh by end of 15th year now let's take asset d which can generate 20% returns in that case the 10 lakh investment can compound to 1.54 crore by end of 15 years now look at the difference between asset a and asset d that's a staggering 1.3 crores excess profits generated by investing in an asset that can grow or compound at a higher rate of 20 percent the key is to choose a quality asset that fits one's risk appetite and allow it to compound over long periods of time were people able to identify investments like asset d in real world there are so many examples for that but like i said earlier we will detail it in next videos for now allow this already known simple math to sink in appreciate compounding and importantly have goals that require money not money as your goal and believe that you can get rich and dare to have big goals thank you